Okay, so this is a problem that you're actually gonna have to use your calculator for. You're gonna have to figure this out and know how to do these journal entries. It's not gonna be one of these easy gimmies um, unless uh, you're like kind of a savant a little bit. We have a company, Consolidated Enterprises, issues a 10 million face value bond, five-year bond with a coupon rate of 6.5%. At the time of issuance, the market interest rate is 6%. Using the effective interest rate method of amortization, the carrying value uh, after one year will be closest to. Well, we know all of these are issued at a premium because it's 10 million, it's over 10 million, and the market interest rate is 6%, the implicit rate is 6.5%. So there's nothing that we can really do here to eliminate this, this interest. We just have to uh, the, the, eliminate. There's nothing that we can do to eliminate some of these answers. We just kind of have to put it in the calculator, figure it out really quick. Underline five-year bonds so we can see what that is. So it's a five-year bonds. Let's use our calculator. So we have 10 million in bonds is the future value. Uh, these bonds pay, coupon rate is 6.5065. So that's what our payment is. That's the payment on the bonds. And the interest rate per year is six. That's the market rate. Interest rate per year is six, I over Y. The number of periods, these are five-year bonds, so five goes into N. And then payments per year is one payment per year. And we're going to compute the present value of those payments. So the present value of those payments is 10,210,000 right here. So let's just write that down so that we, we have that. So we have 10,210,000. Two one zero uh, thousand, and what was the rest of it? Six one eight. Now there is something we can do to avoid time right here and save time. You see how this matches the recording value, and a lot of people are going to say, "Oh, that's the answer. That's what it is," because the, you know it matches. The numbers match. It must be right. Using the effective interest rate method of amortization, what is the carrying amount? Uh, carrying value after one year all right so after a year so the carrying amount the key to this is to know whether the carrying amount goes up or down for a bond issued at a premium there's another problem that we did where we knew it's that if it well we know this this is just a principle if a bond is issued at a discount the carrying amount goes up to the amount of the face value of the bond over time always 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 that's what it does it goes up to the face value of the bond over time if it's issued at a premium, the, the bond is has a higher carrying amount, and that's brought down to the face value over time. And so we know the correct answer without doing any other journal entries because of these principles. We know we could do the journal entry. We could get the principle. We could go through the long thing and waste all our time. But the reality is, is we know the answer. The answer is A. It's A because it's the only one that's less than what its current recording amount that amount has to come down closer to the value over time. If you know that, you're gonna save some time.